cat. There's a Metro cat right there. That's awesome. Hey guys, and welcome to the Istanbul vlog. Right now, I am not in Istanbul, Turkey. I'm in beautiful Taipei, Taiwan. It's beautiful here. Today in the vlog, I'm actually going from Budapest to Istanbul, and I'm just doing this to provide a little bit of context so that it's not all... So I was in Istanbul for about five days. I made four videos. Uh, this is like my first and second day in Istanbul. Um, so I started the day and I took my flight to Istanbul. I landed and then I took the metro. There were cats. Well, I'm in the metro in Istanbul. We're just going off the. Oh, and there's a there's a kitty right here. It's a metro kitty. Hi, kitty. This was my first experience seeing the kitties. There were kitties all over Istanbul. If you're a cat lover, totally go. They are they're rampant and they're loved and adored. Like they're totally just kind of allowed to walk in and amongst and around everything there, which is. Cool, if you like cats. I went to Taksim Square, which is kind of like a main little uh, touristy kind of area, like right in the heart of uh, Istanbul. And I'm in Constantinople. I mean Istanbul. I mean, huh? I booked a hostel for a few days, taking my stuff to the hostel, and I came across my first, but not my last, uh, baklava shop. Oh my god, this is happening right now. Visually and sensually extremely striking. And there were just these shops all over the city. It was so hard to just not go into every single one. And they have so many different flavors of baklava. Did you know there was chocolate baklava? I didn't either. Baklava. Baklava, can't wait to eat this. So that was my first baklava. And then I went to my hostel and that was pretty much my first night there. The next day I kind of tooled around the city a little bit. Uh, nothing crazy eventful happened until I got back to my hostel. So I'm sure you guys have all taken vacations and had to stay in hotels. You, know, you go around the city, the area that you're visiting, you're kind of doing the tourist thing, you're walking around, oh look at that, look at that. You walk for like six miles, ten miles or whatever. And usually by the end of the day you're pretty exhausted and the only thing you really want to do is just go back home and chill. So I did all of that in Istanbul. I walked around, I looked at stuff and I got back to my hotel and it was totally so quick uh, hostel update. I actually feel really bad for my hostel owner. Um, the police came and shut down the hostel. It's sealed. The front door has a lock on it. It's locked. Um, my stuff's actually still inside. So we're gonna have to like climb up and over and get in somehow and like sneak it out. The owner was kind of running things more or less not legally, which was pretty common in the area. All like maybe half of all the hostels and stuff did that. But recently the police just decided to do crackdowns. Luckily enough, my hostel was one of the places that had uh, one of the crackdowns, but my stuff was still inside. Like my suitcases and my computer and all that. But the thing is, is that it's, it's sealed off. So we weren't allowed to like legally go back inside. He had to think of creative ways to kind of get back into the hostel to get my stuff. And I, and I did feel bad for the hostel owner. He would have been a really nice guy. So I'm not gonna like put his face on here. I'm not gonna put his voice on or anything like that. I don't wanna draw any kind of negative attention to him. He's generally a nice person. And sometimes these things happen. So here's the ladder we need to go up to get into the hostel to get our bags. Oh, sorry. From the top? We successfully clambered up. We have to go up the ladder now. It's so exciting. They took my suitcases already, so I have to get my stuff here and in this locker. End of the bag, and then out. We scaled the ladder, we got back in, I grabbed my stuff. Okay, successfully packed. Time to get out of here before the police come. I don't think there was any risk of the cops coming. I guess they could have showed up while I was inside and then there would have been a 
a conversation to be had, but nothing happens. This is a fun vlog, action vlog. So that hostel owner obviously refunded us the next day's uh, charge and then helped us find another hostel for the night. We got our stuff, we clambered down, and then we waited at like his friend's house for a minute and I made friends. There was a, there was a girl from China there. We yammered a little bit in Mandarin, which was nice. Uh, my Chinese is getting so bad. Hi. Hi. New hostel. Went to the new place. So the new hostel is a 30 second walk from the old one. Uh, the owner is a nice old man, a uh, nice elderly gentleman. And yeah, to be honest, I don't really care. It's like 1am right now. Uh, oh, little kitty. Kitty. Freaking cat city, man. I wound up being very nice and I walked into my room. person dorm I'm literally the only person sleeping here awesome and yeah you know honestly like it wasn't that big of a deal sometimes you just have to go with the flow sometimes these things happen I was personally okay my stuff was fine um, nobody was hurt or harmed there was no like purposefully negligent action and yeah there was actually there was a girl it was a girl and I a girl from Spain and she was like the only other one who was kind of displaced the other people that were at the hostel they were like there when the cops came so they could take their stuff with them but this girl had to come with me to to get our stuff and she was like super irate and really pissed she was arguing with the hostel owner about the difference in like single dollars for like the rate refund. I mean, the room was like $8 a day or something. And she was like, well, you're only giving me seven and a half dollars back because the deposit fee or like, it's just something crazy. And I'm just like, dude, come on. Like it's, you can tell he's a good person. He didn't mean anything by it. Like his business is shut down now. Like this is like a genuine problem for him. Whereas we're losing like almost nothing. Like nothing was stolen or anything like that. I don't know. I would suggest like when you're traveling, um, just keep an open mind, be flexible. Things don't always go to plan, especially if you're in a different country. Just my recommendation, my my suggestion. I mean, I guess when you're paying like eight US dollars a night for a bed, uh, these kind of things can happen. Eh, uh, I don't really care. I have a hot shower, comfortable bed. Um, that's all I care about. Night. That was pretty much it. That was like my first my first day and a half there. I landed and then I relaxed the first night and then like yeah, yeah. first thoughts in the city, just kind of getting there. Very interesting place, and I'll kind of talk about it more over the next three videos or four videos that I make. Very interesting feel because the political climate is changing drastically. Vibe that I felt and then also what was kind of described to me by other Turkish people was that it's slowly becoming very conservative. Things are becoming the print. There, there was a coup last year. There were like terror attacks. The president is kind of getting more control, let's say. He wants more control to make sure things, uh, yeah, let's just put it that way. So it's affecting tourism. Tourism has like plummeted over the last two years. And Istanbul used to be a very like kind of metropolitan city with mixes of different people from everywhere. And that was very much not the case um, that I saw when I was there. I didn't see too many like foreigners that kind of looked like me. It was very, it's very Eastern. I'd never been there before. I had no idea what to expect and no expectations or anything like that. And it was very cool. just kind of getting there, landing, seeing, getting a feel for it, hearing the language. Everyone had beards. I felt very in a place without a beard. Yeah, it was, it was, it was cool. And I, I like totally respect the city for the history that it is. I mean, it was Constantinople. It's just a city that just demands respect. So this is the first video of five that I took in Istanbul. Um, just like fun little day vlogs like this and I had like baklava and there were cats and there are all sorts of crazy stuff that happened I'll try to do one of these every day for the next five days and you can kind of see what Istanbul's like if you've never been and if you want to go and Then I hopefully is a little unique than typical tourist stuff So I'll share that with you guys in kind of the next following videos. Okay, if you like the video, please like uh, subscribe to my channel uh, Please 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 and if you think it's fun and entertaining, please share it with your friends as a, as a creator It makes me feel warm and gooey inside when uh, my stuff gets shown to other people cool. Thank you guys so much and uh, I will see you uh, tomorrow.